Look, it's very hard when you're a small outfit like ours to judge if they're going to be that good. But um, I've been in this game long enough now to know when you've got a good one. When he won at Doncaster, I said then that he was a July Cup horse, and it was my main aim for him to go to, to go to Newmarket. He went to the Abernant, which was delayed. When he won that in the style he did, and we knew he was going to come forward for that, then we knew we had a serious shot at it. We've had a taste of the Group 1 success, so basically we want to have some more of that. I have so much confidence in him that I don't actually get that nervous. I mean, once I've, once I've let him go and Kieran's cantering to start, there's a few butterflies, but that's always a good thing for me. I, I always associate the butterflies with something good's going to happen. And then from the back, one master is now staying on in determined fashion. Oxted clinging on from Glen Shield. Here's Brando as well with one master and art power. Glen Shield far side, Brando on the near side. Oh, it's tight. We obviously ran at Ascot Champions Day last year and we were approached to go to Saudi and that. So it got so much good publicity last year and obviously the prize money helps. But it just fell right with all the old man's plans for the races he's going to be running in for this coming year. He's actually bred for soft ground. He ran a cracker in the champion stakes on, on very soft ground. I did a bit of research into the track. There's not a lot of kickback. It's got a good cushion to it. But he's a good moving horse. He flicks his toe well. He trains on an all weather surface every day. It's a big shout, but the other option in Saudi was the turf. If it was a six furlong, I would be going for it, but it's six and three quarters. I think once we get out there, we have a couple of canters on it, get his foot in for it. I think I'll be more than happy for him to run on it. If you don't think you've got a chance, there's no point in going. I feel you have to be confident in what you're sending across because, you know, everything costs money and, um, you know, you don't want to just do it for a jolly. It's a serious business and if you think you've got the right horse to do it, then have a go.